Folks, I gotta level with you. I've had three bacon related episodes in a row and I think we need to change things up a bit. So we're gonna be making a salad for this week's episode. Ah, no, no, no. If it makes things better, an animal died for this salad. Uh, so uh, why don't you go get the intro card for me? Healthy food is bland. That's a lie we all fed ourselves. But not before wrapping it in bacon and deep frying it. Seared ahi tuna salad, if done right, can be incredibly flavorful and put you on the road to weight loss. That and hitting the treadmill. So let's begin. Now let's actually begin work on the dressing. That way all the individual ingredients get to meld and know each other. If you don't, well, just remember aunt you know who. Anyway, here's what you need. Three to four cloves of garlic, depending on their size. Once they're all diced up, add them to our bowl. One eighth a teaspoon of grated ginger. Now here's a little tip, just use the back of the knife to scrape the paper skin off the ginger. Half a teaspoon of salt and a pinch of sugar. Half a cup of rice wine vinegar, followed by half a cup of ponzu sauce. And whisking a third of a cup of grapeseed oil. Now let's do a quick taste test. A little more salt and a bit more ponzu. Perfect. So cover this in saran wrap. And stash it in the fridge. Next up is the main attraction, besides me, the tuna. Oh, by the way, the tuna needs to be sushi or sashimi grade. If you just grab whatever piece of fish from your mainstream mega mart, this is what's gonna happen at dinner time. And you do not want that. Now we're gonna season our tuna, really simple. Just some salt. Now, grab a medium-sized saucepan, set it over high heat, and sprinkle in two teaspoons of grapeseed oil. Here's the thing, tuna cooks incredibly quick. How quick? All you have to do is cook them for 10 seconds on each side. And once they're done, immediately transfer them over to a plate. All right, after a few minutes, our tuna would have cooled down. So take one, and don't just simply push down on it. You're gonna squish it. So cut against the grain while seesawing the knife like this. And boom, a nice, lovely, clean slice. Oh, remember, go in at an angle like this so you don't shred the top off your tuna. Now on a clean plate, add about two ounces of baby romaine lettuce. Sprinkle on one tablespoon of fried shallots. Oh, calm down. Sprinkling on some fried shallots is not going to do this to you. But if that silly and somewhat fetishy clip from Futurama scares you, then substitute the shallots with sliced cucumber or shredded carrots. Lay on our tuna. Drizzle on our dressing. Garnish with some green onions. And sesame seed. Man, I love seared ahi tuna. If fish didn't have high amounts of mercury, I eat this stuff every day. I knew I should have said that sooner, but YouTube's algorithm is based on watch time. This has been Chase Cutting Kitchen. I'm CRJ, making cooking fun. And meaning it this time. Oh, and don't worry, you won't get mercury poisoning as long as you eat in moderation. I really need to make less spooky jokes. <laughs>